If you're looking to self-publish your own books and sell them online, this guide will introduce you to the essentials of creating book templates. I'm Ashley Harrell, and in this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a book in InDesign. InDesign book templates can be adapted with your own cover design and type formatting to create a unique and professional book layout design every time. Before we begin, make sure you check out Embottle Elements. Get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, and images like the one used in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to Envato Tips Plus for more free courses and tutorials. Open InDesign and go to File New Document. Set the width of the page to 5 inches and the height to 8 inches. Change the number of pages to 16 and make sure facing pages is checked. Set the top margin to 0.72. The inside should be 0.75 bottom should be 0.7 and the outside should be 0.5. Locate the pages panel and click on the A parent thumbnail. Pull out two guides from the left hand ruler, dropping them at the two margin lines on the right hand page. Pull out a third guide and place it in the center of the page. From the top ruler, pull down a guide to two 0.0839 inches. Pull down a second guide so that it is to 3.1967 inches. Grab your type tool and make a text frame on the lower half of the right hand page. At another text frame, this is where we will place our page numbers. Insert special character markers current page number. Go ahead and change this page number. Set the font to George Sands Regular. Align it to the center. Now go up to your Pages panel and click the A Parent and change it to Parent Options for A Parent. Change the name of this to Opening Page of Chapter and click OK. Now choose A Parent and click on New Parent. Here, I will change this to body of chapter. Go over to A Parent and select your page number, copy it and edit paste in place. Copy it again and paste it in place, but drag it over to the left page. Grab your type tool and create a text frame on each page and then connect both of your text frames. Now grab your type tool again and create the book title header for each page. Change the font size to nine. Copy and paste this book title text on the next page. Now go to page 5. Right click Numbering and Section Options. Change it to Start Page Numbering at 1 and then click OK. Now click on the very first page and go to Numbering and Section Options. Now we're going to change this to the last style. Right click None and select Apply Parent to Pages. In the To Pages box, type in 2 through 4 and click OK. Right click on the Be Parent thumbnail and click on Apply Parent to Pages. In the To Pages box, type in 2 through 4, comma, 6 through 12 and click OK. Use the type tool to add text to the first page, which can list the title, author name, and publisher. Set the font to George Sands Regular and align to center. Create a contents page. Create a list of chapters. Set it for George Regular, size 12 
and rest these against the left margin. Now we're going to copy and paste this text frame and switch the text to align right. Edit the text so that it just reads as the letter X for now. These can be updated with page numbers later on when the book is finished. Use the pen tool to create connecting lines between the chapter name and page number. From the stroke panel, if you have trouble finding the stroke panel, you can go to Window, Stroke. Set the weight to about 1.5 and the type should be Japanese dots. The first page will be the first chapter. So go ahead and create a text frame with the baseline resting on the top horizontal guide. Type in chapter one and set the font to George regular. Size should be 14 and align to center. Now set your type cursor into the text frame below. If you are on a Mac, you can just select Command and Shift on your keyboard and click where the text frame will be. Set the font to Addington CF Regular. Size should be 11 and the letting should be 14. Now from the Paragraph panel, set the first line left indent to 0.125 inches. Now you can drop in your own text by copying and pasting it over from a Word document. Set your type cursor into the first paragraph and from the paragraph panel, we will increase the drop cap number of lines to two. Now you can go ahead and thread these text frames so that they connect with one another. Now I will show you how to create a cover for your book template. Go to File, New, Document. Set the units to inches. The width should be five, height should be eight, and pages should be three. Make sure facing pages is unchecked. Set the margins to 0 0.5 and the bleed should be zero. From your Pages panel, select your pages and click on Allow Selected Pages to Shuffle. Here, you're able to move the other two pages next to the first page. Select the Page tool and click on Page 2 to select it. Then go up to Layout, Margins, and Columns. Select the left and right margins so that it is zero inches and click OK. This page will form the spine of our book. Adjust the width of the spine so that it is 0 0.75 inches. Now expand the Layers panel and double click on Layer 1 and rename it Photo. Let's create four more new layers and we will name them Type Behind, Retro Dots, Type In Front, and finally Barcode. Then lock all of these layers except for photo. Expand the swatches panel and now we will create a new color swatch. The colors we will use is 4, 98, 88, and 0 and name it red. Now working on the photo layer, use the rectangle frame tool to create an image along the lower bottom of our book cover. Now go to File Place and place the image of the woman. Now with this image frame selected, go up to Object Effects Transparency. Change the opacity to 60%. And for Gradient Feather, Change the angle to 110 degrees.
Now here I will be adding a black background. Now grab your rectangle tool and we will create the background for the spine. Fill it with red. Now lock the photo layer and unlock the type behind layer. Create a large heading across the front cover using the type tool. Set the font to Agave Brush and set the swatch to paper. Duplicate this text and type the word going. I will copy this text layer again and make it just a tad bit smaller. Now I'm going to add the author's name in the bottom left corner using George Semibold and the paper swatch. Now select all of the text layers and change the opacity to 90%. Now go to the layers panel and unlock the retro dots layer. Use the rectangle frame tool and place it over the cover. Place your retro dots. Now here I am rotating it so that it fully covers my image. Go to transparency and set the layer so that it is soft light and 85%. Copy and paste this layer and paste it on the back cover. Extend it so that it goes over the spine as well. Now, unlock type in front. Create a new text frame and here we are going to add the title of our book along with the author's name for the spine. Create another text frame and here we will add a quote for the cover. Change the font to George Regular and Bold. Copy and paste the same quote and you can apply more quotes to the back of your book. Here I am adjusting my retro dots to 60% for the back cover. Add a new text frame. You can fill it with placeholder text or you can add a description of what the book is about. And lastly, for the barcode, make a space for your barcode. Or you can file place your actual barcode. And that's how you make a book template in InDesign. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new videos. I'm Ashley Harrell. Thanks for watching. Thank you.